Hey, it's Kaylee here. I am just adding some things to my Social Procon web app. To give you a heads up of where I'm at. Right now I can log out, log in, sign up. Um, so I'm just going to log in as myself. And then I have some lists here. So right now I'm just displaying pros and cons. But um, I can't actually create any. I don't have that form yet. So that is the form I want to create right now. Um, I do, however, have a form for a new list. So what I want to do to start um, is to create the form for a new item, which is just like a pro or con, so that we can set that based on, you know, info. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to start by creating that form, and then I'm going to nest that form um, into this new list form, and then probably do some other things with it. So then I have to go into my controller with it. So right now, where am I at? So I'll close some of my windows here. Uh, this is my view. This is my show for my list. This is my items controller. So this is where we're going to be working um, to create that new item. So here's my form that I started playing with for my new pro or con. Um, so right now, I'm thinking that I'm going to pass a variable to this partial to tell it, like, is it a pro or is it a con? So I've passed that variable, and then once I uh, get that, I can kind of just build out the item. So I'm going to be passing it a new item. Um, and maybe here I'll pass it a value. I, mean, I could, like maybe add in a hidden form. I'm not sure if I have this uh, hidden. I'm not sure if I have this like exactly <laughs> syntactic. Like I'm not sure on how this works. But so my, my idea is to have like a hidden field and it would be like for um, procon. It would like hold the procon so that I could get at that earlier. So I just pass in this pro con and it's just pro or con and then in the controller I can deal with um, deal with that but that's probably not gonna work because I'm pretty sure that's not right but that's what I think I want to do something like that um, so okay obviously we don't want a password here but I had gone back into um, back into my Sinatra form of this project to kind of remember some of the things I did because I knew I did a uh, select group um, to get this. So cause basically I want I want this to be for the weight of the pro or the con. Um, and so I want it to be a drop down select thingy. So I'm just going to look that up because I can't quite remember how to type it out. So I think it's collection select now. I don't know. Rails drop down. Am I recording? Yes. Um, drop down menu to select zero to ten. Um, um, oh, select tag. Okay. Select. So. I don't want that. That's too complicated. Let's go just into the docs here. Collection select, select tag. I'm not sure which one I want. People, user ID. No, I don't think I want select tag. I just want the numbers. Collection select. What's this one look like? I guess I can just pass it. Populating drop down list. Oh my god, I can't use this. Select. Select. Maybe if we just look up select. Yeah, options helper. Select.
I know there's like a simple way to do this, but I just don't know how that is. Select objects method one through five. Pass a range as the choices parameter. You're just linking me to the same freaking thing. Um, well, let's just try this because it seems like kind of where we want to go. Um, object. I don't know what my object or my method is, but let's just see if this gets us anywhere. I don't know. Um, so, okay. What I use here is so, option. I do want to put form control on it for stuff. Mm, that can be right. Oh. Select tag. I don't like select, huh? Okay, well, let's just see what this looks like in, if anything breaks, and then maybe we can figure out more about this info thing. So we're going to go list. Well, I guess I don't have an index page for list right now. Um, let me just go to the list here. So let's just say pros new. Oh, it's not going to render because I haven't passed it. No, it's just called items. Yeah, it doesn't know. Okay, so it doesn't like this. That's good to know, I guess. <laughs> um, I also haven't passed it, a pro or a con. So um, I might want to like rename that as pro or con somehow. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm just going to try to create a new item for now and not worry about pro or con. We'll deal with that later. Submit. Add. Why well, my color look funny? Okay. Oh, well, that's not good for sure. I'm not sure. Select weight. Select tag. I mean, we have to pass it something to be able to select. Okay. Rails select. Select field. Rails form select field. Generate the range numbers. Select takes. Oh, here we go. Options for select. Sweet. Thanks, Stack Overflow. You rock. As always. Select tags. Okay, that's cool. And we'll just add in options. And we don't want any step, so I think it should. Um, I think it should just hopefully automatically do a step of one, but we'll find out. So options for select class. Okay, let's see if this. Oops, I gotta take out this other stuff here. Huh? Okay, let's try that. No, undefined method. Select tag. Why? I mean, maybe we need step. I don't know. I guess I can try that. Step. Oh. 
I guess we don't need that. We could just, um, so I remember in the amusement park one, we had a form and it accepted an integer and it just had like this little arrow thing that went up and down. And then, so it wasn't like as explicit, I think. Like pretty much I just want them to know that they can use, you know, zero to 10, um, but I guess, I could do it this way. Let's see. Attraction, I think. No. So, number field. Okay. I guess we can just call it a number field and then um, and deal with that. And, um, number field. We just want that to be in. So let's see how that looks. Maybe that'll work. I mean it that's not really what I want, but this will see how this looks. Well, I don't like it. Form control. Why don't you like that? Maybe there's not form control for number fields. Hmm. Ha ha! Kick ass. So why is it not letting me do? Oh, it's just zero, and then it's like nope. What if I do fifty? nothing happens. So I'd like to like have some error there. I thought that what? I wonder if what happens if I if it catches that. Hey ya. Uh. Okay, so it does catch that. That's cool. Okay, cool. So we don't have a post route. I thought we did. Items, new item. Post items. It's right here. I thought that automatically set up. Maybe. Should I get the items? Yeah. So shouldn't that go to So are we hitting this? I guess is my question. Seems like maybe we're not. Why is it not? Let's look at our roots again. I don't want items on their own. I want the items to be nested within the list. So it looks like get items. Okay, why is the post going there? I mean, I think that's fine. Isn't that what it's automatically set up to do? Get, edit, post. Where's like update? Patch. Okay. That one works out. What about new post items but why does it want to go there huh no root matches post items new 
maybe I need to pass the URL here. I don't know why it would URL, what does it say? URL path items path. Um, let's try this, see if it hits it. Where do I see that? URL. Okay, so we're hitting debugger, I think. Whoop, whoop. Cool. I don't know why. Why do I need that? Like, why doesn't it know that? Not sure. Do I need to? What if I did this? Maybe I don't want to do this because... It won't work as well in uh, like as a partial, but I wonder. Um, I wonder if I do this without the URL, if it'll let me do that. So. On this, and then I'm gonna go items new. I get that. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so if I do at item, I get that. But then, like, if I'm trying to use this as a form, it won't be as nice. I think that's the point. Like, I want to use this as my form as a partial and I want to reuse it. So I'm going to go back to this guy, I think. Um, I'm just going to rename this so I can remember that idea. Okay, sweet. So I have, <clears throat> I have this. So let's just render this from new, see if we can call it. So I can call it from edit it. From edit and ship. Um, render partial. Because I just want to pass it that prolicon. See if I can get that make it working. So, Cool. So it looks like looks like it's um, doing what we want it to do for that partial um, rendering. Cool. So now let's just see on edit. So it sounds cool. Um, let me get a number. Exit. Um, let me get a number here so that we can check out the edit rendering. So for this edit one in our controller, we're going to have to find that find by ID, names, ID, eventually like I think I'll do like before something, I think I'll grab a method that says set that, um, set item for here. And I'll just put this here. And I forget how I did that, or how we did that. Um, what 
is on our list, I think. So let's go to our list controller. Okay, for action. Hmm. How'd it get in? How'd it get it here? Maybe I did it with you guys? No, that's been making it up. Okay, whatever. We'll just. Yeah. Um, oh, well, I guess actually. Ten answers. Actually. Before action. I guess we could just do that. Sessions. Rules controller. Um, I want items controller. Before action. Set. think that edit should work because we're calling that. So let's just go here. Let's go into a list and then let's, oops. Okay. Um, let's go items. Oh, I'm not sure what number these items are so let me just find out. Five fifty one. Five fifty one. Edit. <laughs> yes, cool. Um, that's exciting. So okay, cool. So edit and new are working ish. So now we just need to, um, yeah. So show actually even should work. No, because I didn't render. I didn't render the. I didn't add that view, so let me just add the view and see if that's working too. So that'd be sweet. Um, so item, yeah. So I mean, I think we'd want more info, obviously, on this, but we'll just let it be for now. Render, because we've had that. but um, okay so I wonder I don't know there's no reason to have that because but I feel like maybe okay so I mean I keep typing items new maybe I should add in one here let's just make the creation real maybe with a controller and then um, we can go from there so let's add the params, so items, params, items, params. <laughs> so params dot require item dot permit. What do we want to permit? Width and then description, weight, and procon. We want to pass that. Because with our item, we have this procon value. Now, we need to decide if we're going to pass it like true false, or if we're going to wait to pass it true false, or what? I mean, I think in the views, it's easier just to pass it like pro or con. And then and the params, maybe when we're setting it. I wonder if I can do an, another method that I call um, like set procon. And if I look at my params and there's like a procon in there, Like if plants is equal to 
Pro. Else. Insert. Rams. Pro con. Two. Con. Cons. Let's just reset. Two true. Or false. So I want to set Procon. Set. Procon. But. Where are we going to set this? I mean, I think it'll depend on... Or maybe we can leave it up to within the form. Like, maybe there could just be a radio button. I don't want to get... That's something... Yeah. Maybe we just do that for now. I'm just trying to like maybe move. Okay. Yeah, let's just get this creation going again, like I said before. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm not gonna worry about Pokemon, I'm just gonna try to think about item creation. That item is item. New with item params and an items param, not item param. That makes no sense. And then we'll say if at item dot save we'll do something else redirect. So either way we'll flash them. Flash alert equals Item, new item, added to list. Flash danger. Uh, info maybe. And then. Item invalid. <laughs> um, try again. Render. I think I'm going to render new again. And then I think redirect to list path item dot list. So let's see how this goes. Oh, well, we don't know if it's a pro or con yet, so it's going to be real confused. So let's just. Let's just force it here. And let's just create a pro. Where I do new session on that one. Edit new. Oops. Come on. I mean, I think I want to know how to do this pin field there. Pin field rails forms. Pin field. In field field and value. I know I'm gonna want to pass it true or false. Maybe I'll pass two locals, but I'll be like, you know, true here, and then pro con and name pro. 
that way I can use, I don't have to like add conditionals within the form to get out these. I don't know. So, value. Okay, now let's see if this works. Let's see if this ends up in the params that I want in my items controller. So I'm just going to go debugger here and try again in my view. So, oh shit, set purple card. Oh, it doesn't like that. Okay, well, we don't really need that. This also doesn't exist, so that makes sense. Items. Okay, testing. This should add new. Hitting the debugger, we should be sweet. Um, item ramps, sweet. Okay, so we've got that. Why did pass pro? Pro con. I wanted it to be. I thought I passed it. Oh, was that an edit? Oh, it was an edit. Okay, I need to do that in a new. New. That's list. Okay. There we go. That's why that happened. So we'll try that again. So I think I'm pretty sure it's working. So that's good. Let's just go back. Maybe let's remove that debugger. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we have it. So I'm just going to remove it. No. <gasps> but it's not fake. <sighs> Doesn't like that new. Oh. Ha. I lost a thingy. It's important. Refresh. Testing. Plugin. Item creation. Um, and it should be a new pro. Ten. Wonder if it goes. Uh, enter a number. Good guess. <laughs> Item invalid. Why are you? On true. Wait. Well, that's not helpful. We need to add some field with errors, maybe. How do we do that? Field with errors.
Okay, let's just put this debugger back in. That way we can see the errors on the all right, apparently I didn't like that, I don't know. Maybe we need if object. Debugger. Let's see. Let's just try this. See what it does. All right, so that procons being passed. So no. Oh, crap. So it needs a list. Yeah. So we need a hidden field. Actually, we know that from the params um, because of the page that we're on. Like, we know that from here, we can get it from there. So if we go here, we could say set list. I mean, I guess we could get it from the item too. Yeah, this might be more straightforward. List is this. Or I don't know, maybe we just. Oh, if it's new, it won't have that yet. So let's just say get list. Get. I know. Get list. So let's just say at item dot list is a list found by ID params should be under list ID. I think. Okay, so now let's try that. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to do that in everyone. Just really, um, maybe I just want a hidden field. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's just do it like that right now. Um, so let's see if this does any better. So let's see. Let's uh, create. I don't know why I did that. Items. Get list. That at item hasn't been created yet, so maybe I just want to 
just put that here, get list. The name was different. I didn't like it. Hello, we're testing new item creation forced to be pro right now. Eek! Wait, I'm still doing say 10. Alright, so now I should be in that item. No, right now I need to do that one. So let's just try the sequence of shit. Get list. No. Oh, I think it. That item. False. Shit. Oh, so user needs to exist too. So user we need to get grab from the session to grab current user. And let's just not deal with this shit right now with these different methods. Let's just do this. Let's just do this here. So we'll say, we'll say at item dot list equals list dot find by params. Oh, let's see what our params look like. Params. So we should have, I think we should have a list ID. Hmm. Procon. No, because it doesn't really, doesn't it know what page we're on? Params. Let's just try this list ID. Mm -mm. It's not there, I guess. No. So why is this 194 not being passed? Like I thought that'd be passed. So maybe we need to, with new here, maybe we need to, I wonder if maybe there's, here is where we might have a list ID param but then it doesn't get carried over here. Well, we've scraped. Um, maybe we need to do this. Require list permit ID. I wonder, no, I just don't think, I'm not sure. I don't think that's, Anyway, let's let's see what we've got working here. When we um start this. Start this. Okay, we're hitting the bugger. What's our crams look like? Okay, cool. So there we have that our item ID is 194. So I'm not sure this is exactly the right way to do it, but at item dot list ID equals params ID. Um, I don't know, I guess params list. Anyways, I'm not actually Okay, so maybe we just need to make sure that gets turned back to us. Um, so we'll just say list ID. Oh, yeah. So then that should be passed to the form. It'll stay in that hidden field and get passed back here. 
plus ID. And then we want to grab the current user. I mean, yeah, I guess it's going to be current user. That's the idea. All right, so maybe now I'm just going to hit debugger here and see what happens. Stop, refresh. Oh, we were hitting a debugger. Oh, we're still stuck at one. Okay, so we're trying this again. Oh, I think we're still trying here. Alright, so let's try again. Forced new item as pro added in user and list because those are required for creation of an item. So let's try this again and see what item looks like. Haha! <laughs> okay, yeah, so we saved it. So now we should, now let me just see, at item.cocon. So yeah, it looks like that's working. So, okay, so now we've created, um, yeah, so we've created, we're able to create a new item. Obviously, we don't have a list or anything, but, um, I think this might finally work. So adding pro with user and list IDs. Um, kick ass. So yeah, so I'm the current user right now. So my pro went right here. Oh shit, look, this one, uh, this one worked, it just didn't redirect properly because it was confused. Yeah, and let's check it. New item added list. Item. So let's just, yeah, cool. Cool. So I think that's probably like 30 minutes-ish. Um, I guess I'm gonna sign off and uh, keep going here. So next, I think I'll just add in a link. I'm hoping to do it like with some inline shit so that, you know, it's not as funky. And then again, that nested form here that I want to add to the new list, adding pro and con. Um, so I'm just going to start by adding a button to the this table so I can see um, um, so I can see that redirect and then I can set the pro based on which button is pushed. I don't love that the URLs are indistinguishable but Okay, cool. So, all right. Well, that's all. Peace out. I think it's been, oh, it's been a long time. <laughs>